And now new tonight, Senate Republicans again are blocking a procedural step for a vote to raise the federal debt limit. It comes as congressional leaders stare down a possible shutdown date by week's end. CBS 4's Skylar Henry joins us live from the White House. And Skylar, what would a congressional shutdown mean for America? Well, the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Americans would feel the impact of it almost immediately, Lauren and Jim, that from a visual perspective, national parks would close almost immediately. Those Americans looking to apply for a mortgage for either a house or loans, that application process would slow. And hundreds of thousands of federal workers may or may not get a paycheck, but lawmakers want to make sure that that doesn't happen. They're working around the clock. But the other element, gridlocking D.C. right now, are those two massive spending bills. The president working to try to convince some of the more conservative members of his party uh, to buy into his uh, economic plan. But the latest wrinkle in all of this, progressive Democrat Senator Bernie Sanders came out later this afternoon saying this. He wants some of his House colleagues to vote no on that $1 trillion reconciliation package without first reviewing the $3.5 trillion plan. President Biden is reaching out to federal lawmakers this week as Congress faces a possible government shutdown Friday and an October 18th deadline to raise the debt limit. It is imperative that Congress address the debt limit. If not, America would default for the first time in history. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen gave that stark warning on Capitol Hill a day after Senate Republicans blocked a bill to both suspend the debt ceiling and fund the government through early December. Object. Tuesday, Republicans blocked an attempt by Senate Democrats to bring up a clean, simple majority vote on the debt ceiling. Well, Democrats want to use fast-track party-line processes to spend trillions of dollars and transform the country. They'll have to use the same tool to raise the debt ceiling. He is totally doing a 180-degree turn from what he has offered time and time again. The president also continues to push to get a deal on the massive reconciliation bill, holding separate meetings with Senate moderates Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema here at the White House. They had a constructive meeting, uh, agreed that we're at a pivotal point moment, need to continue to work to finalize the path forward. House Democrats say they're also in talks with Senators Manchin and Sinema over the measure's price tag. Thursday, the House is planning to vote on the roughly $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill, despite threats from progressives to withhold support until the reconciliation bill is taken up. So if a shutdown were to happen, many government agencies say that they are working on contingency plans. Again, that deadline would be on Friday. Many unions actually say that their federal workers are actually concerned about what, they may, what may happen, and they are bracing themselves for a potential shutdown. We're here at the White House. I'm Skyler Henry, CBS4 News at 7. Skyler, thank you.